Hi everyone, Lula Man at my Cigar Box Building Workshop. Today we're going to finally get around to showing you guys how to do the Banjo Style Resonator Cigar Box. Um, we're going to get to that in one second. Before we do though, there's something that I wanted to go over with y'all. Should I say yins? You know, the old timers and my dad especially taught me when you're going to use sandpaper, they used to call it breaking the back of the paper. I don't see anybody do this anymore, and I've done it since I was a little kid woodworking. And this is basically what you do. You take a corner, a sharp edge of anywhere, and you take your sandpaper, and you go like this, this way, and then you go this way, and then at the angle, and at the angle. And supposedly, it makes your sandpaper more foldable and last longer. I don't know if anybody else does it. Let me know if you do this or have ever heard of that. I've done it since, like I said, since I was a kid. So that's something I've been meaning to ask you guys. And I didn't quite know how to do it in a question. So I just figured I'd show you. Okay, so what we're going to do here. I got a couple of these beautiful new green brick house mighty mighty boxes. Well, one's a mighty mighty. The other one is a little smaller. And I'm making matching his and her three-string resonator style guitars for my wife and I. So, real quick, I'm going to show you how to do this. It's real simple. But uh, Shane did a very good job in explaining it. But there's nothing like seeing it done to actually explain it. Okay. Now, I have my fence set at about half-inch depth. And my height just enough to get the bottom of the box off and a little more. I'm trying to get up above this layer of trim. I could tape it, but I'm going to make the first cut without taping it and see how it goes. Um, I might not need to tape it. So, basically, here he's... <laughs> worry about getting it smooth or that's why I didn't even bother taking the hinges off I know that set gave me a little bit of an angle on my cut but it doesn't matter because once it's in the resonator you're not going to see any of that anyway it'll be hidden so that's doing that and of course the box still open so that's going to make it easier for us to do our mounting of our L brackets all right, let's move over to the workbench and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, now to get started with this, I'm using these brass corner braces I got from Ace Hardware, number 5290051. They're the inch and a half bright brass. Since we're everything's gold hardware on this these boxes, I'm going to use the bright brass. They also come in, in silver. And what I did is I take a, just any old nut and bolt and snug it down to the you see there's two holes there. I snug it down to the bottom hole on all four of them. And that way I can set my box on top of them. And that tells me where to drill my holes so that they're all even. Because if they weren't even then you'd end up with this at the bottom. And it would be really hard and it would be wobbly. So this way you know they're going to be where they need to be. And all I'm going to do... 
I know my box is nine and a half or nine inches long. I'm gonna go just make a mark two and a half inches in right from that hole. And this is, these measurements don't have to be exact. <laughs> it's a little hard to hold these knots these nuts on there. In fact, I'm going to do it up on its side, make it a little easier. That way I can lay that right on there. And go approximately two and a half from this side. Another hole. Flip it over and do the other side. Make sure you do all four of them the same and that way you know you're getting the same height out of them. Okay so I got my four places to drill my holes. Curtis if you could be so kind as to unscrew those. I suppose I could do this over on the Drill press, but I'm just going to do it right here. the inside in there the inside bracing and that's not going to hurt anything I really make my box stronger okay now we got our holes drilled we just now you want these to be on the inside where they're hidden and so I know I was on the second now I'll come in with my brass uh, bolt I'll put a Make sure you, you go on the second hole. I got a lock nut for on here. Okay, just get them temporarily on here for now. This is just the back of a cigar box. Now I took some of the wood that was off cuts from the neck for these and some mahogany that I used and I just cut sides of them just to kind of make them a little taller. So it will sit there and you can see there's a gap all the way around there for the sound to come out. Now to 
affix it to the back we just open our lid and voila we see where to make our holes Because I'm going to have a finish washer on the back of that too, which will cover up any tear out. Of course, you could, you know, put another piece of wood back there to prevent the tear out, but. Eh. Saint a factory. It's homemade. too much tear out. Now we simply do this. Same thing in reverse. Yeah, I'm going to put all these on and they're all going to fall out as soon as I turn it over. So what do you expect? What do you expect, Lewis? You know, I could have taken my time more when I put those on to make sure these were, but you know what? That they were straight. It's the back of the instrument, and I think that just kind of adds to the whole... There you have it, folks. A banjo style resonator for your cigar box guitar. You can cut this, put your neck in. And I've been playing around with the idea. I'm trying to find something that I can put around here. Make like kind of a flange, like find something with like holes like that, you know, that I could cut the length or shape. Just some kind of brass that would look nice. But there's nothing really wrong with the way that looks. Um, and that's it. Now, once I once I do start working on the neck, I'll take it back off of here in order to facilitate cutting this out and working on that and everything. I don't need it to be connected to the resonator. But I wanted to show you how we do that. And it's incredible. Um, I know if you've seen Shane Spiel's video where... I made one for him, just a real quick throw together one, and he did a sound thing. I'll do another sound thing with these when I get them done, and we'll see how it goes from there. But that is how you do a banjo style resonator on your cigar box guitar. All right, now thank all the usual suspects and a few new ones. I'd like to bring to the forefront Mr. Rob Robel, unbelievable builder down in Florida. Look for him on YouTube and Facebook. Del Puckett, unbelievable builder out in Oregon. G.S. Monroe, I think he's in Alabama. He makes the most incredible instruments, not just cigar box instruments, all around instruments. And, of course, Jim Morris in West Virginia makes incredible instruments. And also there's a guy named Old Uncle Mark Piper, who is a teacher of... And he teaches you how to play classic rock songs on the three-string cigar box guitar. Look him up. He's incredibly good as a teacher. He literally has hundreds of songs that he shows you how to play. And find one you like and learn to play it. And you got it done. And don't forget to sing. Everybody, here's why I play my cigar box guitar. And you don't sing. I want you to hear you sing. All right. Thanks to CB Giddy. Thanks to MGB. Thanks to Bedford Banjo Shop. Thanks to Curtis, thanks to Ethan, and we'll be back real soon. we got some new amplifiers we want to show you, and who knows, maybe that video will get put out before this one. And we'll be back to show you this when it's done, plus the six string I've been working on. Y'all have been seeing some teasers on that. Um, it's almost done. So when it's done, I'll get Bob to come home and play a little bit on it for you, and you can see how that worked out. Using the whammy bar, the CB Giddy whammy bar on the 
six string. Woohoo! It's a trip. So anyway, that's all for now, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave your comments, and I'd like to see somebody besides me make one of these. Um, I have my name on a couple of these green brick house boxes over at my tobacco store. If anybody's interested in them, I know they're new and not a lot of people have them. Uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. I have the two that I need, so if I get some more, I'll be willing to share. Okay, that's all. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>